I'm Raphael Johns. Um, I am a newsroom reporter here at Youth Radio. Uh, this is my producer, Teresa Chen, uh, and we're here to teach you about field recording today. First up for that is putting on your headphones. Before you even sort of do an interview, uh, an important part would be to find a space that isn't loud. Um, you're looking for some place where you can get audio that's very clean uh, without, with like a minimal sort of uh, amount of loud noises, um, background noises. So inside, it's best to get someplace that actually has carpet, like this place, um, furniture, uh, and hopefully like a closed door and some curtains. These things can also sort of all sort of limit audio, uh, limit ambient noise, um, which you want after the interview, an effort to be able to hear the person as well as possible. Then you need to make sure that this whatever recording uh, instrument you are using is on, so turn it on. After turning it on, you need to check the levels. And forever, for whoever you're recording, um, this is also gonna be important because you're gonna need to really see how you hold the mic. Um, hold the mic too close is gonna be really awkward. Nobody really needs the mic <laughs> that close to their face. Um, but you also need to make sure that you're holding the mic close enough that you can actually record something. So if the person's, like make sure that the person is comfortable introduce the fact that you're like, hey, you know, I'm going to need to record you. I'm going to need to be a little bit in your face. Okay. Uh, does that work? That, good. Yeah, that's good. Um, totally comfortable now. Now that you hit record, you're going to be asked them some questions. Um, these are just warm-up questions because you need to be able to tell when you're actually, you know, recording them for whatever you need to be recording them for that they're hearable. So let's say, what did you have for breakfast? Just make sure that their levels are fine, that you can hear them perfectly, uh, because that's really important when you're recording can someone. Can I hold the mic? No. Um, as the reporter, you need to be like, no, nah, no, nah, it's cool. Um, hold the mic specifically like right here. You want it to be basically about uh, a fist length away from the person's face, and that should help you record everything. So now that you have got all this, uh, next thing needs to be your actual interview. So obviously ask whatever interview questions. Um, Generally, try to keep it so that you're like maintaining eye contact. It's basically just a conversation, and you want to make someone feel as comfortable as possible. After that, you ask your questions, get finished with your interview, thank the person for the interview, and then when that is all finished, you need to make sure that you record 30 seconds of blank audio um, or ambi. So that was like, you know, hey, thank you, Teresa. Thank you so much for answering all the questions. Um, I'm just going to record 30 seconds of ambient noise. So. Let's be silent. Uh, then you just hit like this. Take about 30 seconds to gather all the audio that you need. Um, it's just blank noise to go behind you when you're uh, when you're editing this. And immediately after that, you know, make sure that you turn off. You hit stop on your recording device. Um, turn off the power. Uh, unplug all this. Put it back in your kit, and you should be done with your field recording for the day. Um, or maybe just for that particular interview. <laughs> I'm Raphael Johns. That's the end of our lesson on field recording. Uh, if you like this and would like to check out more information on uh, being a good reporter, uh, you can check out Teach Youth Radio's hub. Uh, the, all the information's on the back. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today, and have a nice day.